chapter three, Mishnah six. The last two Mishnahs of this chapter deal with the physical characteristics or signs that can be used to identify different types of kosher animals. The two signs of kosher domestic animals and wild animals that they have split hooves and chew their cud were stated directly in the Torah, while the signs of kosher birds were not stated anywhere. But the sages said that even though the Torah does not state any signs for birds, it is possible to study the Torah's list of non-kosher birds, see Vayikra chapter 11 verses 13 through 19 and Devarim chapter 14 verses 11 through 18, and figure out which signs make a bird kosher or non-kosher. These signs are as follows. Any bird that grabs its food with its claws and picks it up off the ground while it eats is non-kosher, because all of the non-kosher birds listed in the Torah display this type of behavior. Any bird that has an extra toe on the back of the foot that is higher than the other toes, or a crop, the organ at the bottom of the bird's food pipe that holds undigested food, or the skin on the inside of its gizzard, a small pouch surrounded by muscle tissue that grinds up the bird's food, can be easily peeled away from the muscle by hand without needing to use a knife, is kosher because all kosher birds always have at least one of these three signs. The Mishnah gives another sign of non-kosher birds. Rabbi Eliezer, the son of Rabbi Tzadok, says, Any bird that splits its toes when standing on a narrow surface like a string or branch by placing two toes on one side and two on the other side is non-kosher.